And that's our 1287 back again along with Mikey B in the house. We had a step away. Right now we're going to do our... Fourth game one of Jeopardy, second edition for the PC. Our second one, fourth game. So far, in three games we accumulated $23,569. Normal game. Okay. So, how many people out there? Player one, what's your name? Well, Mikey just burped. Yeah. I'm back. Hi. Women and song. Women and song? Ooh. And the final category is from soup to nuts. Player one, you start us off. You know what? Let's go for it. Women and song for one. Women in this song for two. In 1989, this Miami sound machine singer released her first solo album, Cuts Both Ways. Player one. Who is it? Gloria Stefan. Gloria Stefan. Women in this song for three. Who is Aretha Franklin? Absolutely. Yep. Again. Women in Song for Four. Gwyneth Paltrow? This Courtney Love. Alright. Finish off for five. Jewel. Who is Jewel? Exactly. Hey man, would you be up to the Byron Pound Hour real quick before it got dark? Yeah. This must be Yeah, you wouldn't mind, Ben? I won't mind. I'll be back in time for I'll be back in time for family feud. So if, if you want to, Ben, Ben, I'll be back in time for family feud, okay? Alright. Who is Lenny Moy? No, that's not right. Sorry. I spelled it right. Nimoy. Oh. How about Global Village for 100? It is said that the yellow on Chad's flag represents the sun and this desert. Player two, what is the Kalahari? Oh, no, sorry. No, I couldn't admit it's a hammer desert. Here's what we were looking for. Hey, Ben, I'll be right back in about 30 minutes, okay? 
Gullible? No. What we were looking for was oh, Forrest Gump. No. I'll take from soup to nuts for 100, please. Manhattan and New England style are two varieties of this chowder. What is clam? Exactly. Okay. They hail from Boston for two. Who is Donna Summer? That's who we were looking for. The hail for Boston Three. Who is Edgar Allan Poe? Right, keep going. You control the board. The hell for Boston Four. Born in Boston in 1931, she was the first female to co-anchor a regular nightly network newscast. Player one. Who is Barbara Walters? Then let's set the hell for Boston for 500. A one time Unitarian pastor, he transcended with works like Nature and the American Scholar. Player three. Who is Henry Wadsworth Longfellow? Good guess. But it's not. Nice. But that's wrong. Anyone at all? This is what we want. Walt Waldo Emerson. Uh, start with GU for two. This edible fruit is full of vitamin C. Player one. Guava? No, it's... I was just going with what is guava. Absolutely. Pick again. It is guava? Oh my god. <laughs> uh, t <laughs> wow, that was a guess. Uh, 300. G U L T C H. O G U L C H. Definitely. Starts with G U. For 400, Alex. Flaubert's first name. Player three. What is Gustav? Absolutely. Pick again. Let's do Hittite history. For 100, please. In Hittite myth, one of these insects is said to find a missing god. Sort of a game of fire and sea. What is a bee? Bitch. Excellent. Hey, you really know your animals. Hittite history. For 200, please, Alex. After a 16-year war, a treaty was signed with this country, and its King Ramses II married a Hittite princess. Okay, I have to think of it. What is Egypt? Absolutely. It's Egypt. Again, Hittite history. For 300, please, Alex. The army had three-man crews and an elaborate system of horse training for these vehicles. Player three. What are chariots? That's right. Pick again. Hittite history. For 400, please. Following the Bronze Age, the Hittites helped initiate this metal stage. Player I am. Um, what is iron? Absolutely. Yeah, it was Pick iron. Again. What is... I think I knew. What is 200 BC? Oh, that's incorrect. 
No. Oh. Let's try. Starts with G U for five hundred. This Latin American country's longest river is the Motagua. Man. What is Guatemala? Absolutely. Pick again. I'll try from soup to nuts for two hundred. Once the food of the Greek gods. Today it's a fruit salad. Player one. <laughs> for this pastry, whose name is German for world. Layer three. What is schnitzel? No, that's not right. Sorry. This is what we want. Strudel. From soup to nuts. It's apple Five strudel. Seen here, Fair. these nuts are also called filberts for the saint on whose day they ripen. If you'll just watch this, I'll show you the clip. Hey, Layer no, two. I'm sorry. What are hazelnuts? Absolutely. It's hazel. I'll take Global Village for 200, Alex. Trail name given to North Vietnam's main infiltration route into South Vietnam during the war. Player three. What is the Ho Chi Minh Trail? That's it. We really know your history. Global Village for 300. US 101 is usually called the Hollywood. It leads into the Ventura one. Player one. Highway. I can't even think of it. Well, if it's not, it could be Hollywood Boulevard. What is a freeway? Oh, I went highway. I went the other way. Well, it's San Francisco. Correct. Pick again. And the final answer of the round. It's the Florida Cape, where the space shuttle missions begin. Cape. Nobody? It's Cape Canaveral. Take a look. Here's the right response. I know, but I can't even spell it. Celebrity Arch of the Tournament. His early career was so rocky, he had to sweep out the lion cages at the Central Park Zoo. Player one. Who is Sylvester Stallone? Absolutely. Pick again. Country's Arch of Four. The fabulous Baker Boys might know she was a supermarket checker. 
before she became a superstar. Anyone? This is the correct question. Oh, Michelle Pfeiffer. Six. Who is Team Wilder? Exactly. Celebrity up to sake. Who is Pierce Bronson? Oh, come on! That's rigged! Why is final? Well done, yes. Uh college memories for four. From the Martin for larger, it's your academic specialty. Anyone? This is the correct question. Major. Yeah, no, neither. Player one, you choose. Perhaps referring to the fleecing of your parents' bank account, it's the animal nickname for your diploma. Player three. What is it? A sheepskin. Exactly. College memories. For 1,000, please, Alex. Of magna cum laude. Summa cum laude, or cum laude, it's the one that's the highest honor. Player one. What is summa cum laude? Yes. I know you was thinking with the cum part. Thank God I didn't recognize recognize if I would have said the other one because that would have been that but I said thank god I'm gonna stop right here because I gotta go change the batteries when we come back we're finishing up double jeopardy round stay tuned for that kids alright welcome back right now got fresh battery going and we're gonna continue on in our double Jeopardy round with Mother Earth for two hundred. La Nina is the name given to the weather pattern that produces many effects opposite to this one. Fair one. Let's L. Nini? No. Is <laughs> El Nini got different? Well, it's El Nino. Absolutely. Think again. Mother Earth for 400. On the average, the Earth is about 
three million miles or one astronomical unit away from this. Fair one. Where's the sun? Correct. Pick again. Mother Earth for 600. The high or spring tides on Earth occur during the new and full phases of this. Fair one. Where's the moon? Mother Earth for 800. The Grand Earth Orient, covering parts of North Africa, includes some of these dunes 1,000 feet high. Layer 3. What are sand dunes? Absolutely. Pick again. Mother Earth for 1,000. Well, she found the final uh, daily double, and it's really a close race. 1,000. Where's the quest? What is the mantle? What? Dumbass! It's a quest! This is what we wanted. I like authors and their works. For 200, please, Alex. Two Hazards is a short story by this author of the very long novel, War and Peace. I don't think... No, I was thinking. That's Charles Dickens. This... So it's Count Leo Tolstoy. Cowboy talk for 200? If you're belly up or strapped on your horse toes down, you're this. Nobody? What we were looking for You're was dead. This. Let's go for tea party for $200. It's a silly, outdated affectation to prove this with picking up a tea cup. Is that it? Player one. What is Pinky? Exactly. Oh, yeah. Ice and tea. You always gotta have to light your pinkies. Like, no, I'm not flipping. You be have to light your this Player pinky one, finger one. like that. Cozy. Well, comfy. Kind of fit, huh? Tea party six. From Middle English for curled up cake. It's a tea bread that resembles an English muffin. Is that it? Anyone? It's a crumpet. It was a crumpet. Tea party for a. Tablecloth. No. Tea. Oh, tea bags. Tea for grand. Type of tea named for the titled Earl who became Prime Minister in 1830. Is that it? Anyone? This is the correct. Earl Grey. Uh. Can we talk for? What a saddle? Yes. Ooh. Cowboy talk for six. A rawhide artist was a ranch hand who was good with this branding implement. Fair one. Oh, yes. Branding iron. Cowboy talk for eight. Cold blood, red tire, alligator's blood, snake blood, of course, Western snake, thousand.
It's in Spanish. Katina. Okay. Authors in the works for 400. Sylvia Plath. Salvador. Nicola is Mr. Valley. Well, I come back. Final Jeopardy. Yeah, but who's that girl they was talking about? Your question, player two. That's not right, I'm sorry. And your wager? Pretty much all. Your question, player one. That's right. Ooh. And your wager was? Only 200. Out of this. Game into a full now a uh, full game total of twenty seven thousand nine hundred sixty nine dollars. So what's gonna happen in game five? Well, you have to tune in to find out. Coming up next, another fun game for the PC, and that is our good answer. Good answer. Game of Family Feud for the PC. See y'all there for that. <laughs> 